talk, shop, pop, movies. Ahoy there, this is Derek, the Convicted Cinephile, and if you're a Convicted Cinephile yourself, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel down below. On my channel, I like to talk, shop, and pop, open that is, movies and physical media. Today, I am doing, I guess it's physical media, uh, no, it's not media, it's just stuff. It's stuff. I went to Spirit Halloween. Today is the last day they are open. Today they are doing 50% off of everything in the store, so by the time you watch this, it's probably too late to go. But I spent uh, too much money on stuff, but at least I got it for half off, and it's mostly stuff I wanted to get anyways. So it's not like I went and bought dumb crap that I didn't want. Most of it is stuff for my kids slash wife and stuff I would have out all year, not so much stuff that's going to be hiding in my garage for the next 12 months. So to uh, show off what we bought, uh, I have an assistant here, and uh, I'd like to uh, introduce you to him. There he is. Oh, hi. There he is. <laughs> All right, and uh, what do we have first here, buddy? Masks. Masks, okay. So he's gonna hand me these uh, things here. Bear with us. Okay, thanks, buddy. All right. Thank you, Mr. Puppet. Uh, this, these are just cool. I just always liked these vintage masks. Uh, not enough to pay like $13, $14 a piece for them, but at half off, I thought it'd be cool. And I just like the look of them. So here's the vintage mummy. Pretty sweet. All right, so let's set that one back there. What one's next? We got six, by the way, because it's pretty much all the old classic monsters. Got the vintage vampire. I love this old school Dracula with like the pointy hair. That one is neat. Who's next? Doesn't matter. Oh, vintage skull. The, or vintage phantom skull. That's the one, yes. Ooh, very neat. The only one we never saw in the store was the vintage zombie, so I kind of want that one still, but maybe next year. What's next? Vintage Clown, possibly my favorite out of all of them. I like this one a lot. They made a little doll of this guy too that we never had a chance to get. And these are all in pretty good shape considering they're like, you know, the last things at the store. Yep. Keep them coming, bro. The dogs are stepping on all the empty bags. And then the Vintage Wolf Man. I like this one a lot as well. And the last but not least, we got Vintage Monster, Frankenstein's Monster. Very, very cool. So we'll go get the next batch of things. My assistant is grabbing the next item we have here. Let's do the big one, get him out of the way. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah, they had one of these at the checkout line still, and we never bought this one over the past couple years. The uh, sidestepping Pennywise. I worked in the store. Where are you going here? Yeah. We didn't have this one. We almost bought the uh, Lydia one, but eh, maybe next year. Uh, but this is the only one of these I saw all year, and I figured we'd grab it for half off. What is next? It's stuck on the thing there. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, boss. Uh, yeah, this is an actual decoration. A few of these in here. It's a black light spotlight. We have a bright green oogie boogie that we got for Halloween slash Christmas now, so I left him outside. And uh, since he's that neon green color, we can get this, shine it at him, and he would look cool at night. So this is more or less the only actual, like, seasonal decoration thing I got today. Ooh, yeah, this is a very last-minute purchase. Not like they all were. But the uh, ghost face, little bloody ghost face prop knife. I don't have any scream stuff, really. And uh, it was cheap, so I said, what the hell? And I think my wife likes that one. So if I get enough stuff she likes, then uh, maybe I won't get divorced later. What's next? Oh, this is the one thing. Whoa, good catch. Uh, I've never seen this. I went to that. How many times have we been to Spirit? Like 300? Spirit Halloween pillowcase. Never saw this before until today. Uh, for half off, you know, the price is right. So uh, that'll go on my kid's pillow because, you know, he likes the Spirit. What's next? Mr. Assistant Puppet, who's definitely not my kid wearing a puppet hand. Thank you. Yeah, this was just funny, so we're like, what the hell? Another thing, I don't have any Chucky stuff, really. So I grabbed the uh, Chucky ruler, because it was really, really cheap, and it's just kind of funny. So that's something we can pop open and just maybe have 
sitting on my desk or up on a shelf up here year round. That is a movie prop esque thing. All right, last one in this stack. There's more bigger things, believe me. A sandworm door. <laughs> You're not there. It's your you're a puppet assistant. It's not my kid, right? Oh, okay, he's there. Uh, <laughs> this was his idea with the whole puppet thing, by the way. And yes, this is one of the things we got today as well. The uh, Killer Clowns puppets. So, get that one out of the way. They were funny. But yeah, a door cover for the Beetlejuice Sandworm. This will go in my kid's bedroom door. And uh, I'll bring the Leatherface one down I bought from the front door and put it on my playroom slash movie room door. And that'll hang out there all year long, and that'll look very, very cool. All right. I'm, I'm pretending the puppet's so excited. <laughs> and we're back. So the next batch of things. Okay, he's pushing this one over. This one's Fred Gile, so thank you, assistant. Uh, we grabbed the little pumpkin head monster Sam Snow Globe from Trick or Treat. See, that's a cute thing, and I'll have it out all year long somewhere on my fireplace mantle or what have you. And uh, we can do them next. This is one my wife kind of wanted. We were there before. And he can go out for Christmas. So we grabbed... Zero. The little zero. I don't know why he has this over his pumpkin nose. This isn't the one that lights up. It's just the decorative one that hangs. But we have another hook outside right next to the Oogie Boogie. So maybe we'll put him out there. Figure out what the hell for the price. And get a hanging jack. Yeah, hopefully we'll get a jack too. Get the whole Nightmare Before Christmas family going. This one, I definitely would never have bought if it wasn't half off. And it's still moving. It's the uh, killer. Yeah, <laughs> I thought I was wrong. Killer clowns snow globe. Full price. Never would have bought this because I probably would have by now if it, if it was worth it. But I'm glad they had the first store I went to only had this one, so I grabbed it. Uh, we went to a second spirit today. That's why I got so much. And they had like four of these left, so it's like okay. <laughs> but it's very cool. I'm excited to have that. Another thing I can have, you know, hanging out in the fireplace mantle, sort of all year long. And last one here in this batch is the only thing I bought today, besides that black light thing, that is like specific to a holiday, <laughs> or you know, decoration. It's a little four foot inflatable tombstone. We got that big 12 foot clown one for his birthday and that thing is awesome. We had that up for a few days. So I figured I'd grab a little you know, $15 inflatable for next year. And it was pretty the one that I saw from Trick or Treating. Yeah, we did see this one in someone's yard Trick or Treating too, and that was very cool. So, for 15 bucks, it can't be that for an inflatable for next year. Still in the box in good shape. Don't tip it over. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You don't have to push it. All right, uh, glass stuff. So, yeah, being careful here. They have some cool glassware this year. I got this awesome Beetlejuice wine glass with all of the little heads on it that I quite enjoyed. There was more stuff that I was going to get that I put back, like the Lydia sidestep where I was like, eh. I almost got the Barbara mask because I got the Adam mask for myself, but I was like, eh, I'd rather get, it's a good deal for, you know, like 15 bucks a mask, but I'd rather get like three of these, you know what I'm saying? And then the boy, wherever he is, since this is obviously a puppet and not a person holding it, uh, is this other Beetlejuice wine glass. He picked this one out and I figured... What the heck? Now we got a pair of cool Beetlejuice wine glasses. The next one here is... Michael. Yeah, this is one that my wife wanted. And I was like, eh, I don't really like weird shaped coffee mugs. But she liked it, and I was like, eh, maybe. And we already have a lot. And it was still there, so I figured, well, now I might as well get it. The uh, little Halloween pumpkin mug with the knife sticking out of it. It's just okay. awkward, and there's, like, no good place to hang it. Um, but I do like it. It's a cool shaped mug, so I figured I'd get it. And he's on the back, which is kind of weird, but... It's adorable. I figured I'd grab that for her. This one I'm glad I didn't buy it. I already got the Halloween set. I bought those uh, in time for the Halloween ranking stream I did with Bob's Blu-rays. Uh, but I didn't get the Jason ones. So I got the Jason. 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 <laughs> Friday the 13th pint glass set. They had none of the Halloween ones in stock. But the second store I went to had two of these. So I'm glad I waited and bought those today. All right, so that's all the fragile stuff, I think. What? Okay, we got three more slightly larger things. This is something I loved, but would never pay full price for, but they still had one. And <laughs> it's just so damn hilarious. <laughs> See, like, this is something I could put outside next Halloween. The Beetlejuice. This part's plastic, but the rest of it is plush, except for the rattlesnake tail. And it bends around and it's got, like, a wire inside. I was really hoping we could get this in time for 
the boy's birthday because my wife was Lydia with her like red wedding dress on and she could have worn this like as an accessory uh, but sadly that did not happen but this was the very last one either of the two stores I went to had and it looks cool I don't know what he's doing he likes to sing and music and such let's just put him behind here because he's not oh yeah and they had a buttload of these left I have the other Sam light, the one where he has the no mask. Uh, one of the stores actually had that one, and I got the Michael Myers one last year. But they still had a bunch of this one in stock, and it still works. So now I have both Sam lamps, and this thing originally is like 45 bucks, so I got it for 22 or whatever. Not too shabby. The very last thing, which is something I kept almost buying all year long, haven't put batteries in it, hopefully it works, is the light of Beetlejuice sign. I really wish they would have had the tombstone to go with it, but sadly those were sold out. The two stores I went to, like I said, it's not working at the moment, so hopefully with some new batteries it will work. They had two of them in the store, neither of them worked out in the spot, but even without it being lit up, it's a cool sign, so I don't really mind paying half price even if it doesn't light up. And uh, like I said, we got the puppets. So that's everything we got the last day of Spirit Halloween being open, at least where we live. November 2nd is the date, if anyone's curious. So, yeah. Anything you got to say uh, beyond that, buddy? Grinch is here! Grinch is here! Because Christmas is coming? Is that why? It's just this guy. Oh, 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 the green hair? Yeah. yeah. Happy today of Grinch. Sweet. All right. <laughs> well, sadly, there will be no more Spirit Halloween related videos this year. But it's our favorite time of year, so next year we'll do it again, right, buddy? Mm -hmm. till, till you're not. I'm not cool enough to hang out with and go to Halloween stores anymore. Ow, don't hit me in the face. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Talk, shop, pop, movies.